Verizon Cinematize 3 and Cinematize 3 Pro allow you to easily take portions of a DVD or even the entire DVD and convert them into movies you can watch with iTunes or on iPads, iPods, iPhones, and other portable devices. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to do this using Cinematize 3 Pro on a Mac, but it works just the same way under Windows or with Cinematize 3. The first step is to open your DVD with Cinematize Pro. To do this, you can drag the icon of the DVD from your desktop onto the Cinematize Pro window or you can choose Open DVD from the file menu and select the DVD. Cinematize Pro works equally well with DVD files on an actual disk or DVD files stored in a folder on your hard drive. The next step is to select your clip. To quickly locate what you want, you can easily preview video, audio, and even subtitles together all in perfect sync. Your clip can be as short as a fraction of a second or as long as the entire movie. In this demo, we'll make the start point here and then put the end point here to make a short clip. The video, audio, and subtitle tabs control the selection and decoding for each of these streams on the DVD. On the video tab, you can pretty much leave the default settings, which are main video stream, decode video, automatic selection, and DVC Pro 25. If you want just audio from your DVD, you would do that by selecting no video stream. On the audio tab, you select which audio track you want. If you want just video from your DVD, you would do that by selecting No Audio Stream. In this demo, we'll choose Audio 1. We can leave the rest of the settings pretty much at the defaults. Decode Audio, 2-Channel Stereo, Normal Dynamic Range, 16 Bits, and 0 dB Volume Gain. If your DVD has subtitles, the Subtitle tab allows you to include subtitles in your clip. You select which subtitle track you want and then leave the remaining settings at the defaults of decode and merge onto video and STL timecode format. In this case, our DVD has no subtitles. The output tab controls how you want to combine things together for your final output. On the output tab, you need to choose web or portable devices. If you pull down the output format menu, you see that you can select among a number of formats including iPad Movie, iPhone Movie, and iPod Movie. For this demo, we'll choose iPad Movie. This will create a movie clip suitable for viewing on an iPad but it will play on most recent iPods as well. You can also choose iPod Movie or iPhone Movie to make movies for iPods or iPhones. Now let's click Add and add this clip to the batch extraction list. If you want to convert multiple clips, you can go back to the Segment tab, repeat the process we just went through, and add those clips to the list as well. This lets you extract as many clips as you want at the same time. For now, let's just extract this one clip. Click on Extract Data to start the extraction process. You can save your extracted file anywhere you like. Now let's call this file Baby Loves Asparagus. This will create an H.264 iPad movie file with the extension M4V. Cinematize 3 Pro is very fast and will extract and decode your clip quickly. However, because of the nature of H.264 compression, making the final iPad movie can take a little time. Of course, the faster your machine, the faster the extraction and compression speed will be. Now let's bring up iTunes. Here we can choose Add to Library and select the movie we just created. Now all you need to do is sync your iPad with your computer to be able to play the movie. Have fun watching your movie on your iPad.